Hey guys, so something that's been bothering me is uh, I had that uh, off-road Mad Max I built with Flipski uh, off-road 8-inch wheels, pneumatic wheels. And that one I used uh, the the older uh, Flipski 6.6, which does not have anti-spark. Uh, uh, and the Flipski 4.20 Plus and the Flipski 6.60 Plus both of them had uh, anti-spark, and that could have been the reason why they died when I did the torque bore uh, with the torque bore, because it seems like those um, those flip skis die when uh, when you use uh, when you do FOC, basically motor motor detection, and something wrong with the circuitry of the anti-spark from what I'm reading. Um, so. It got me thinking because I've never had a problem with the one without anti-spark. And I've never had even cooling issues, even on the off-road, going all these steep hills. Um, and uh, my Bluetooth stopped working, so I couldn't really check the data. But today, I put that on my Icebox skateboard. And amazingly, the temperature was way lower than 6.6.plus .6 uh, and also 4.2plus. And I realized why, because it has a giant heat sink. If you look at the size of the 6.6, uh, .6, flip 6.6 uh, versus 6.6 .6 plus, 6.6 plus is literally half the size. So if you have double the size of heat sink and everything else is the same, the only thing that's different with the plus version is they put SMD version of the MOSFETs. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same thing. But the plus actually comes with half the size of the heat sink. Um, so I think um, two things. First of all, um, I, so I hooked up uh, anti spark because I had one that I ordered from Flipski and uh, Maytag. But the Flipski one supposed uh, supports uh, auto start, so you can roll your board and then it'll start it. So I put that on there, and that should solve the issues where I'm having problems with motor detection. And I think maybe maybe it was the flip ski. I'm trying to figure out to again to the get to the to the end of this. Um, so maybe it's just it's not torque board motors. So I don't know. I don't know, but but I think that's what it sounds like because I kept investigating and investigating. Um. So another way you can prevent this is simply not use the anti spark. Um, just use a separate anti spark with that. But again, another problem with the plus versions is cooling. Every time I put it on my even my regular skateboards, uh, when I go up these steep hills, uh, I start having heating issues, and that's why I even um, made the heat sink. Uh, ba basically, it's it's been uh, exposed to the outside air, so I, I'll I'll make a little hole at the bottom of the battery case or battery box, and I'll expose the bottom of the. Um, the metal uh, heat sink and that actually solved most of my problems uh, but but on my icebox skateboard where my load is almost twice much because i'm sitting down um, i'm having heating issues even with that solution but amazingly i put the 6.6 .6, the original 6.6 .6, with which has a huge hit heat sink i did not even expose it to there i just put it in the box because that's how i had it before I was like, hmm, is it this heat? Is it the giant heat sink that is actually working well? Um, so I'm actually surprised. My board works like flawless. I'm, I've been just going like doing rounds. Like I did like five rounds on all, all these steep hills. Usually, I'll overheat on the 6.6 .6 plus and the 4.2 plus because I tried all of them, and it doesn't heat up on 6.6 .6, even without exposing the metal. So I'm kind of amazed, and I think. Flipski 6.6, .6, the old one, is actually the good one, even though it's huge. The only thing is that it's huge, but it works. Um, I think Flipski did not test their new ones, so there's two problems. One is uh, issues with heat, the other one with anti-spark. So I would just not buy them. I would buy the 6.6, .6, the original, the one with the uh, large heat sink. Uh, if you guys want to put it on, you know, something that, you know, if you're going to do like 6.374, and up, uh, if you're doing six, three, five, four, and down, you don't really need that much power because most of those motors, um, each motor supports up to like 50 amps. 
But if you're doing more than 50 amps, like if you thought I put 4.2 plus in on the 6374, and when you do motor detection, it will only detect up to 50. You can't even go up. But you need uh, 6.6 or, or any kind of uh, ESC that supports more than 50 amps to even actually use that much power. So a lot of things going on. So if you're going to buy Flipski, I would just buy the du dual 6.6. Not the, Don't buy the plus version and buy a separate anti-spark. You can get the Matec one. You can get the Flipski. All those are fine. And that will prevent a lot of these people shorting out problems while, while doing FOC detection. Um, I think that's what it is. So, yeah, sorry if I if I went over board with TV motors. Um, I don't think it's their fault so much. Now I think about it. Because it didn't really make sense to me in the beginning. Because you can't really... If the sensors went bad, it can't really do it. And I think what happened was the anti-spark is flawed. And when you're doing FOC, you're sending out, like, sort of large signal. And that probably totally messed it up. Um, and I, I just can't recover it anymore, unfortunately. Um, my flip ski, half the side is dead. Just don't buy the plus. The anti-spark is flawed. Uh, it, it will screw up if you use a large motor. Like, um, if you use small motors, I don't think it will happen. But when you use like a 6374 or higher, that's when the issues will happen. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm trying to uh, find out. But but I found out Flipski's older products are better than the newers just because they don't have the flaws and they have twice the lot of, uh, you know, because I didn't, I, I wasn't thinking about this and, you know, and I was, uh, I opened up my old um, Mad Max with, with the older 6.6 .6, and I was like, oh my God, it's so big. And then I realized, oh, this is why my, my off-road skateboard <laughs> never has heating issues it's enclosed you know while my new ones with the plus having problems so plus i think is a problem design flaw i think flipsy needs to like really really fix it um because i have two vests with half size of dead i tried everything um and it, it's just not come back come back i even tried sd link v2 uh, tried flashing straight with the VESC SWD tool. Um, so Flipski, if you're listening, I think you guys should um, repair my VESC. <laughs> Obviously, it's your flawed anti-spark. But uh, also, your, your older versions are actually better and you should make the heatsink uh, bigger. I mean, you made it smaller, but you it's got faults. And I, I have like two... I actually have like... Yeah, yeah, two vests that are completely dead. So, thanks for listening.